Do people deserve a second chance, an opportunity to have their checkered past wiped clean and not being held against them? That will be the question for lawmakers when House Bill 149 ends up in front of them. It's intended to seal certain court records so minor offenses aren't hanging over their heads when they no longer need to be. How far can the Clean Slate Act go? Here's Joe Paris. Lawmakers in the Idaho House will soon get to debate a major question. Should Idahoans with a low-level offense have the opportunity to have their slate cleaned? A group of lawmakers say yes. The current legislation creates a path, which there is not in Idaho right now, for people with relatively minor, nonviolent, non-sexual offenses to petition to seal their record. House Minority Leader, Democrat Alana Rubel, is co-sponsoring the idea with Republican lawmakers, Representative Clay Handy and Senator Dave Lent. Rubel points out, there are a lot of consequences for people with convictions long after they serve their time and sentence. Collateral consequences, which is all the other things that happen to you. The fact that now you can't get a job, you, don't, you can't get a license to do this, that, or the other. You can no longer be a foster parent. You can't adopt. You can't get into medical school. You can't get, there's a million things that happen to you. Actually, technically, there are over 45,000 things that happen to you. Somebody documented this. All of the collateral consequences that face you in America when you have something on your record. So the idea, remove minor conviction from public facing records for Idahoans with a relatively minor non-violence and non-sexual offense on basically the misdemeanor level. Qualifying offenders would apply to the court for a clean slate five years after the completion of a sentence, including probation, without any subsequent offenses. Rubel says she worked with major stakeholders to create a list of minor offenses that would qualify for this one-time opportunity. The prosecutors wanted it to be very, very limited. Uh, so they wanted a very short list of offenses for which you, so to be clear, this is not for rapists and murderers. This is for the offenses on this would be, you know, one-time low-level marijuana possession at most, really. Some of it is like littering, passing a school bus. You know, it's pretty minor stuff disturbing the peace, um, minor in possession of alcohol. So if you're busted with a beer at a party when you're 19, you know, offenses like that. So these are very low risk offenses. 42 other states have clean slate programs similar to this concept. But to be clear, Idaho's would be for one single instance of minor crime, not an entire history of minor offenses. So it's either a single offense or it can be multiple offenses if they're connected with the same incident. So let's say, you know, you're a teenager in college at a party and it's the same party, but you get charged both with, you know, disturbing the peace for having too much loud music and for holding a beer while you're underage. Uh, both of those would be sealable because they arose from the same incident. This proposal doesn't act as a pardon or a full cleanse of records. It simply removes a convection or record from public view promoting the idea of getting a job or housing. That's an important distinction. So some people refer to it as, ex as expungement. It's not expungement. Expungement is when it's completely wiped off the face of the earth. Uh, this just means sealing. So it will still be in law enforcement databases. Um, police will still be able to see it. And if you reoffend, um, that first offense will come back to haunt you and your subsequent offense will then be treated as a second offense and you will get the heightened penalties that come with the second offense. So it's not completely wiped out, but it will largely be concealed from public view for purposes of job hunts and housing hunts and whatnot. So there you go, Brian, oh. a big, big idea. Okay, so who would be opposed to something like this? So, so far right now uh, at the State House this session in committee, really, uh, from people I've been talking to, no one's really come out and said, we're really against this. We okay. don't want to see this pass. This is still early in the process. Yeah. It did pass out of the House uh, committee. It will now go to the full House over the next few days, likely. Um, it is interesting, though, when I'm talking with uh, Minority Leader Rubel, there are some things that she'd like to see improved on this bill if it does become law, and just some of the things like an automatic system. So this would be a system where you would have to apply to the court to say, okay. I would like to have the specific record sealed from public view, and they could deny that. In other states, though, there is actually an automatic system where if you have for five years or three years, depending on the state, after that point, it'll roll over in that one time, that one little minor conviction, it goes away automatically. But this one is an opt-in system. There's a lot of control on it. Um, some other things that lawmakers might consider in the future if this does eventually pass, shortening that wait time. Again, here in Idaho, it's five years. Rubel told me that she would have liked to see three, but the compromise is five. But we will find out over the next few days what this looks like. A couple more steps to go. Oh, right. yeah. Thanks, Joe.